Hi kids! Today we will learn about one of the most essential things for life on earth. That is water. So let's start. Our planet, the earth, is called blue planet because 70% of the earth's surface is covered with water. So a big part of the environment is water. Even in the air, water is present in the form of water vapors. And water is present beneath the earth's surface too. And that water is called underground water. Underground water is often used for agricultural, municipal, and industrial use by constructing tube wells. Now let's learn some properties of water. Water is colorless. It has no shape of its own. It takes the shape of the container it is poured into. Water has a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape. Let's try to understand this. That is, if you have one liter of water, it will remain one liter of water, no matter in which container you keep it. So its volume is fixed but it will take the shape of the container in which you keep it. That is, it does not have a fixed shape. So water or any liquid has a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape. Now let's see other properties of water. Water exists in nature in three different states. It is liquid form solid form, and gaseous form. Now, let's learn it one by one. First of all, liquid form of water, water that we see in water bodies, water that we drink, water that we use, is all a liquid form of water. Solid form, when water is cooled below a certain degree of temperature, it freezes and that form of water is known as solid form of water. Ice, snowflakes are all solid forms of water. One of the solid forms of water is very interesting. That is snowflakes. Now let's see some of the beautiful shapes of snowflakes. If you look closely at snowflakes, you will see very beautiful formations. Each and every snowflake has a unique shape. Even no two snowflakes are alike. Most snowflakes have six sides. There are mainly three types of snowflakes known as a star, dentrite, and plate. Next time you see fluffy snowflakes drifting down from the sky, don't forget to take a closer look at them. Now let's learn another form of water. That is, gaseous form of water. Water in the form of steam or vapors is the gaseous form of water. Now let's learn how. One form of water changes to another one. When we heat water, some of the water changes into a gaseous state called steam and this change of liquid state of water to gaseous state is called evaporation. Now let's see how the gaseous state of water changes back to a liquid state of water. Take a glass of hot water and now cover it with a lid. Now wait for a while now remove the lid and observe the side of the lid facing the hot water. You will find tiny droplets of water on it. This is the steam in the glass that converted back to water droplets. So, this is the process where steam of water or gaseous form of water changes to liquid form of water. And the process is called condensation. Now let's see how the liquid form of water 
changes to a solid form of water. When the water is cooled down to a certain temperature, like zero degrees, even below degree, water changes to a solid form, and this is called freezing. Now let's see how the solid form of water changes back to a liquid form of water. When the solid form of water, that is snow, or the ice gets enough heat that its temperature rises above zero degrees, it changes back to liquid form, and the process is called melting. Now let's learn what is precipitation. Water falling from the sky as rain, snow, or hail is called precipitation. Rainfall, snowfall, hailstorms are all examples of precipitation. So kids, Today we learnt a lot of properties of water, and also states of water. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye.